by the the situation which boiled down to resignation of uh, Sheikh Hasina ma'am uh, what prompted this situation why do you think it happened the way it happened because the tussle which we saw the carnage which we saw uh, it was all evident it, the visuals which we all uh, we all saw so what was your take on that and why it happened according to you uh, i now firmly believe this was instigated by a small group and Uh, most likely by a foreign intelligence agency i strongly suspect isi if you will notice that the protests really did not uh, there was no reason for the protests in the first place to continue because the quotas were not uh, mandated by our government the quotas were restored by uh, the courts by a court ruling uh, our government had uh, lifted the quotas many years ago in 2018 or so when the first quota protests happened uh so at first when the protest started the protest was peaceful our police was providing uh, security for the protesters keeping them safe and then uh my they took a statement of my mother's where she said that we don't want rajakar's families getting jobs they took that statement and twisted it saying uh that my mother said that the protesters are rajakar's my mother never said that but this was spread online and then in the middle of the night you had some group nobody knows who did that marching through dhaka university chanting we are rajakar we are rajakar now if you have a group marching through jerusalem in the middle of the night chanting we are nazis we are nazis that is the equivalent what would be the result the result would be that the people of jerusalem would get angry and start attacking those who they think said this and that is what happened the other students especially chatrali our student supporters the pro liberation students they got angry they attacked the protesters and that is how the violence started the police mm-hmm. tried to stop the violence and in doing so some of the police members uh used uh, live ammunition which they were not authorized to do our government never ordered anyone to attack our government never ordered the police to use live ammunition we immediately called our student leaders and said stop the fighting the fighting stopped we immediately suspended the police officers that used excessive force but even then that wasn't enough after that they in, uh, increased the demand to resignation of the government and once they did that they started attacking the police now they were attacking the police with firearms with weapons where did these weapons come from where did these weapons come into bangladesh from how did the students get weapons so these were students this was a mob this was a militant see that was instigated to try to overthrow a democratically elected government that is what happened my mother left because her security forces the prime minister's security forces the special security force the prime minister's guards they were heavily armed they were prepared to guard the prime minister's residence golbobon but if the protesters had marched on golbobon hundreds if not thousands of them would have been killed it would have been a massacre and my mother did not want the massacre mm-hmm. that is why she left